I'm doing a healthy peanut butter oatmeal raisin cookie with no flour. Oatmeal will be my flour. So I'm going to scale it be easier that way. It's going to be a half a cup peanut butter, which is 120 gram. So we already put the one egg in here. And now we just have to measure out 120 gram. A little bit over is okay. Five gram is no biggie. And then now brown sugar is 110. We scale that out. So you can put as much brown sugar as you want. So 110, 100, anywhere around there. It's up to you. So I'm gonna do 100. Now you're gonna beat it all together, nice and creamy. Make sure it's nice and fluffy. Now we're gonna add some vanilla, whatever your favorite flavoring is. Why this cookie is healthy? Because there will be no flour. I'm gonna use a gluten-free sprouted roll oats. I got these at Costco, but you can get them anywhere. So that would be my flour. And then I soak some uh, raisin in hot water and drain it. So that will go into my mix. Okay, I'm gonna put it on low, nice and creamy. Then you add in your baking soda, half a teaspoon. Add in my raisin. You can add chocolate, chip, chocolate chips if you like uh, chocolate chips. Right, mix well. And then I'm going to add in my oatmeal. One cup of oatmeal. Okay, and it's done. Look at how good the dough look. You can add more oatmeal if you uh, like a drier cookie. But I think one cup is a good amount. Now let's scoop it and bake it. We're going to put our temperature at 350. I'm gonna bake at 350. Wow, look at this. Six minutes already. So it's up to you. You like them soft? We can take them out now. I think we're gonna take them out now. We want them soft. Fresh out of the oven. Look at that. This took about seven minutes so seven ten minutes depending how hot your oven is but see how fluffy this is there's no flour so we only had baking soda in, in these cookies so there's only uh, peanut butter the sugar and the egg you have to beat it nice light and fluffy to get them to be this puffy looks so good Look at how delicious these cookies look. No flour. This cookie have no flour. Just oatmeal, peanut butter, raisin, and egg. And a little brown sugar. They look so good. Nice and soft. This one's a little crispy. Let's eat this crispy one. 
still soft, crispy edges, chewy texture. Must taste. Mmm. It has a hint of peanut butter. But what a great healthy recipe. Delicious. If you like it less sweet, just reduce the sugar a little bit. But otherwise, soft, chewy, and the raisin is so good. Gluten-free. And it's gluten-free as well. Delicious. Bon appétit. See you next video. What we're reviewing today is, you've seen this in the Asian store, bubble tea. They come in all different flavors, but I got taro today. We're going to do a taro tapioca per bubble inside. Let's see, what is it, taro? Oh, okay. It's taro tea with bubble, tapioca bubble. Bubble tea in a can. Let's review this. You can get it at the Asian store. This one is taro tea. See what it looks like. I can't see the purse in here. Tapioca one. The taro flavor comes through. Maybe the pours are on the bottom. After yep, they were on the bottom. I had to pour them on and see the black tapioca. You can see them floating around. It's not too sweet. A hint of taro flavor. It's really good. I would um, get these again. I'm trying to get one of the tapioca. Mmm. The tapioca here is crunchy. It's not chewy or soft, but it's crunchy. So not bad. I would buy it again. Thumbs up for this drink. Here okay, now's the time to uh, taste your soup. See if you need to add any more seasoning. If it's salty enough, sweet enough. From the fresh uh, corn, I know this will be really sweet stock. Let's taste Wow, so good. Right of mouth of um, chicken broth. And now you just add your veggie. Add it your, in your favorite veggie. I'm doing bok choy. Once this boil, another five minutes, your soup is ready. Okay, the pot is pretty full, so you don't want to cover it. You don't want to overboil. So I'm going to leave it, let it come to a boil, and we will be done. So if you like your um, veg, veggie um, al dente, it's all done right now. You can cook it to your liking. But I love to add a little cilantro into my soup. Give some nice flavor. Now let's taste. Make sure everything is good. With the cilantro in there. Oh, delicious. Now, isn't that a quick, simple, and healthy, delicious soup? Bon appétit. See you in the next video. Look at this beautiful soup so quick and easy to make and so healthy too you put just add your favorite veggie carrots asparagus and you can freeze what you don't finish and you have meal for the next day look at that definitely add 
fresh corn if you want nice sweetness without having to add any sugar. Let's taste this simple and healthy soup. It has um, tofu, bok choy, and fresh corn. Look at this. Let's taste the stock. Oh, it's so good. You guys have to try this. And uh, I put some noodle in when I served it myself. The bean thread noodles. But you can put ramen noodles, anything you want. Any starch, even white rice too. Let's taste my uh, tofu. Mmm. Light and fluffy. And it tastes on the flavor of the soup. And the soup is so good. The fresh corn bring a nice sweet dimension to it. And the chicken broth was so simple. So you can sub out veggie broth if you want to go totally vegetarian. It's up to you. Bon appetit.